This recent leap in bee population is attributed to a phenomenon known as colony collapse disorder, or CCD for short. CCD is a phenomenon in which worker bees suddenly die or abandon their queen. Both the queen and the workers rely on each other to survive, so as a result, entire colonies die out overnight. Reported cases of CCD have been steadily rising year after year, and the overall honeybee population has been declining in response. So if CCD poses such a great threat, what's causing it? Scientists have been unable to pinpoint a singular culprit, but instead identified a handful of possible causes. Viruses, IAPV, Varroa, pesticides, neonicotinoids, and GMOs. Varroa are parasitic mites that feed off of the bodily fluids of honeybees. While relatively harmless on their own, they carry and transmit bloodborne illnesses that can wipe out entire bee colonies. For this reason, their presence within a hive may foreshadow complete colonial collapse. Nosema is a disease caused by parasitic fungi. This genus of fungi, named Nosema as well, feeds off of the epithelial cells of certain insects. Their spores must first be swallowed, where they are lodged themselves in the ventriculus stomach, of the victim. These spores then begin to grow and multiply, eventually filling the host with millions of infective spores. Upon death, the spores are released into the air. These neonics are a family of chemicals similar to nicotine, which are used as a pesticide for crops. In non-fatal quantities, it inhibits learning and memory in honeybees, which are essential for their survival. These communicate to their hive mates through the release of pheromones and specific behaviors such as dances. They use this to signal where the good sources of pollen and nectar are located. The honeybees can move forward, backward, to the sides, and make loops in order to communicate. Non-fatal exposure to neonicotinoid insecticides can negatively impact a bee's ability to learn, as well as both short and long-term memory. Currently, there is no conclusive peer-reviewed evidence that proves whether or not genetically modified crops contribute to CCD. A multitude of experiments produce strong evidence that GMO crops do not harm bees. In favor of GMOs, an experiment done by the University of Würzburg proves that insecticides produced by GMOs do not harm bees. The Israeli acute paralysis virus is responsible for many of the symptoms that define colony collapse disorder, but it is not the sole root of CCD. The idea that IAPV alone causes CCD is erroneous. IAPV is partially responsible for numerous cases of CCD, but it is not the singular cause per se. There are several studies which point out that IAPV may be working in conjunction with other stressors like varroa, pesticides, and poor nutrition. For example, certain pesticides exhibit especially high levels of toxicity in honeybees. This ultimately leads to reduced bee populations and eventually the complete ruination of entire bee colonies. Researchers monitored 18 bee colonies, 6 in each location, from October 2012 throughout April 2013. A third of the colonies were exposed to low doses of the pesticide imidacloprid, while another third were exposed to the pesticide clothianidine, both of which are part of the neonicotinoid family. Many hypothesize that in farms it is due to their nutrition. Bees feed off from crops are exposed to pesticides such as neonicotinoid insecticides that are harsher to to bees. For example, cucumbers, almonds, melons, carrots, and cherries. Although bees eventually, with genetic mutations, become tolerant to the toxicity of pesticides, it can still result in death. Secondary effects are affecting the olfactory learning, foraging, and reproduction are possible. Air pollutants interact and break down plant-emitted scent molecules called alpha-pinene, and insects cannot detect the floral smell to pollinate are up to 3,000 feet away from their food source, which means that scents need to travel long distances before insects can detect them. Plant-emitted hydrocarbons breakdown by chemical interaction with ozone found in air pollutants that produces hydroxyl and nitrate radicals. Generalists can detect the difference between a mixture of scents, while specialists can only detect one and are the most affected. The changes in agricultural practices that could improve the environment of honeybees are eating organic foods instead of conventional crops 
that may be treated with pesticides, reduce the amount of pesticides or fertilizers sprayed when crops are in bloom because bees go out to work, and eliminate the use of pollution sources at fields that emit ozone particles.